Grand Rising Pisces, how are you doing this lovely morning, Pisces? This is huge. Yesterday I was out with my grandson. Um, I was taking pictures of the full moon, damn near the full moon. And then the sun rising, it was absolutely beautiful. Pisces, get into your rituals. Do your rituals. Take your salt bath. Light your candles. Do your rituals. Learn to do rituals. Rituals are part of my life every day. Every day. God is showing you signs, maybe numbers. Listen to your dreams. Listen, okay? If anyone comes in and asks for a reading, you get it today or tomorrow. If you go onto my website to purchase any one of my items, make sure you read to find out what is it for, okay? The Black Magic Spellbreaker candle is what I um, light up if I feel like something is not right or um, if I want to just break something off of me, right? I light it in black. I make it for you in white, but mine is in black. It has mirrors in it so it can reflect on whatever it is that you need to get rid of. The Abundant Prosperity, Healing, Growth, and Fertility Candle is for your money, your growth, your wealth, your health, everything. It's like this reminds you of the Empress, all right? The Love Yourself Candle, it is Pisces, Pisces. You have to learn to love yourself. You cannot love no one if you can't love yourself. Okay? And once you love yourself, you see that light that brights because you have it in you, but you have to love yourself. You know, you give too much, but you don't give enough to yourself. You can't fix no one if you can't fix yourself. The judgment candle is for anyone that's going to court. Any court matters, all right? The Palo Santo and the Sage is to burn in your house and make sure as you burn it, you get two Palo Santo and a stick of sage. My sage is just not um, sage. I put rosemary, mint, and other things in it, okay? This is to burn around your house. Make sure as you burn it, you're saying what you want to get rid of. Open up your windows, okay? My oils come in oil form and also in dry form. As you know, I don't do anything without my oils or my evil eye. The walnut bath is what we need to always at least take a bath with once a month. And that is to um, learn about your shadow side because without your shadow side... I don't know how you expect to face everything you're going through, okay? You're going to always go through things if you don't face your shadow side. That means that you um, can blame everybody and everything that what you're going through. But the reason why you're going through it, and it seems like you're going through a pattern, is because that's what you've been through, okay? So if you don't face what you're going through and everything you've been through in your life, then that's what you attract, okay? Hurt people attract hurt people, all right? The red brick dust is what I swear by, and this is what I always use around my house, my doorways, okay? Um, I have crystals and stones. Know that every crystal and every stones have different meanings. They play a major part in your being. My spiritual detox salt bath, it is cave salt, salt, not Epsom salt. It has the best oils that you can possibly put on your body. If you have skin problem, if you have breathing problem, this is what you need, all right? Herbs in a bag, you can use it more than one time, but the main thing is you need to be in your spirituality. If you don't study who you are and what is the universe. Who is the universe in your life before you can study humans 
and how much you love humans. Okay, that means who you sleep with, who you are around. You'll be so far better in your life, okay? Don't let no one come into your life with these games. I'm trying to tell you a bunch of games, all right? You've been there and done that. And who does this? The people that you always have around you that think they can come and go as they want and do what they want to you, all right? People that are in your life that are considered exes, I don't care if it's an ex-cousin, ex-mother, ex-father, ex-sister, ex-brother, ex who you sleep with, ex-friends, they're exes for a reason. Ex means that they're left the door and out of your life. If you repeat the same cycle and you let these people come into your life, that's what you're going to get, all right? There's illumination coming in with that full moon. Take notes of what you need to change. Look at your patterns. Think about what I want to do different. Revisit your plans in your life. Right? The card says, I carry guilt over what happened. Someone carries guilt over what happened. I don't know what happened, but we're going to see what happened. Okay. Let's get some cards here. Let's see what we're going to get. Let's get these cards. Okay. Now, I'm trying to make these readings not so long. But thanks for all those who stayed to the end. All right? Here we go. Spirit, tell me what I need to see and what I need to know. Wake me up to see what I need to see and what I need to know. It feels good not to be in relationships that are not good for me. It feels wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. All right, here we go. What is it that we need to know? What is it that Pisces need to know? The Queen of Coins. Someone with a child in a grocery store shopping, singing. All right, let's hit this off. Let's see what it says. Here we go. The five of wands, and this is how it came out. All right. The five of wands, what is the argument? What is the fighting and not um, agreeing to anything? Maybe competition, maybe arguing at work, not being on the same page, can't work together, can't do nothing together, can't sit down at a table. The nine of swords, somebody sit on some, a woman is sitting on top of a man. But it's a lot of arguments not being on the same page. All right? This man looked like he's listening to someone constantly telling him how they feel. But is he listening to question? It's like you're not getting along. You're not talking. You're, I don't know if you're screaming at each other. You're not on the same page. I don't know. You're sitting on top of a man. Or maybe you tell this person how you feel. But this person looks like they got their hands folded. Okay? And then it's the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. Singing, shopping with a child. All right? Somebody has long hair, somebody has shorter hair. Somebody is sitting there probably on and on discussing how they feel to someone, right? But it's arguments. But this queen of pinnacles seem like they're happy, but they're not happy maybe at home or in a situation. All right? Um, it just seems like 
or I don't know, or somebody's not. Some this man may not be happy where they at, or maybe arguing. But it seems like somebody here feels like they're just queen. They're I don't know if this is a breadwinner, this woman, or or it's an argument going on. I don't know if you have a child or this person is, is with a woman with a child, but this person seems like they're arguing, and it seems like they're in it constantly um, um, in in their head or thinking about everything that, that is going wrong, right? It may be a man here um, in a situation where they can't sleep or think because their mind is constantly running about Arguing, disagreement, right? Maybe someone feels like they're in competition because it seemed like this Queen of Swords seems like she got it together. But it seems like at the same time, they're not happy. So you may not be happy with a situation. So you stay arguing with a person or you is something here that did. This man feels like it's just too much. Whoever this man is, they feel like it's too much going on in their life. They, they seem not to get a hold of it. And again, maybe they were a woman, maybe this is you, or maybe this is somebody else. But it seems like this person is very well off. Okay? She's a strong person. She's very strong in her spot. She takes care of her family, right? She makes sure everyone is okay. But then again, if someone is stressing, all right? And I don't know what you're doing, Pisces. Someone's going to court, battling situations. So papers is drawn out. So maybe this is a person that Stressing, maybe they don't stressing over maybe giving something that they don't want to give, and they feel like you have everything. All right, somebody is very stressed out because they know Pisces. You're very well put together. You're okay. You can handle things, but it seems like it's someone here being judged, or the truth is about to come. Maybe someone's going to court, all right? Um, but someone here is also thinking a lot. Um, like I said, this woman has a child or maybe you have a young child, all right? Um, the Knight of Coins, whatever it is, Pisces, A daily mission, whatever it is, Pisces, that you're waiting on, it seems like it's not moving. So maybe someone is waiting to go to court or waiting to get some type of truth, but you got something here to saying, let me move on with my daily duties, but I am waiting to go there. Okay. Also, the lovers, that phone is ringing, ringing, ringing while that person is with you. Ring, ring, ring. Okay? I'm sitting here with you, but that phone is ringing. Okay? Um, a decision needs to be made, but it also has a lamp. Something is coming to the light. Maybe you will find out through a computer, your phone, somebody's phone, but something will be coming to the light. Okay. Something is going to come to light. And, 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 you, and of course, the night of coin doesn't move fast, but something is coming through the light. The truth. You may be receiving something, news, 
information. You may be coming into some type of awareness. All right. I just feel like I don't know. I don't know if somebody got somebody pregnant or someone is with a baby here. Can I have a baby or is a brand new baby involved or a child? But somebody cannot stop thinking. Someone may feel like someone has everything. What are you taking me to court for? You got everything. Or someone here is arguing and fighting. This man feels like he's he wants to fight or win. Right? But somebody here wants to live a double life. Right? It's like someone being with somebody and you with that person and that phone constantly rings. And some of y'all already know that this, or y'all play a second, or this person has somebody. I don't know. I don't have these situations going on in my life. Thank you, Jesus. I would never want to play second to nobody. I don't have the time for it. That is very stressful. You being with somebody, or somebody's being with somebody, you know somebody's seeing somebody, you know it, or you in a marriage, or you in... Whatever it is, or somebody left you for somebody, or whatever it is, and it's constantly somebody has to argue with you. Um, somebody's arguing with their man because they know that their man is seeing somebody. It's always something. Who wants to live in a place like that? But I feel like this man, whoever this man is, loves to argue, like uh, loves to prove their point. You can't get nothing across from this person. He may be the king of swords. So this person here. This king of sword. Maybe not be in the same pay with you. Maybe y'all not talking. This person may be with someone else. All right? This person may see you like you have it all. All right? You the caretaker. You the giver. You everything. But I, he might not. This person may not be happy with who they are. Because with you, they have everything. They don't have to worry about anything. All right? Maybe who they see it don't have what you have. Or maybe versatile. I don't know. But this person is thinking a lot. This person's a kind of person that don't play. Got a sharp mouth, speak their mind. All right? People look up to them. And the way that they move is crazy. Because you may see them in a pack of people, but they don't like to be seen. All right? This person... If they seen with you, it's because they love you. If they introduce you to their family, it's because they love you. All right? This person is not a kind of person to just walks around and, and likes to be, likes people to see them around whatever, like as in a couple. They not like that. They will speak their mind to you and they will let you know where you stand. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person may be Maybe marry or maybe in a third party relationship with someone else. Um, it looks like somebody here is a caretaker, whoever they with, or whether it's you or the person they with. But when they with someone here, is a lot of questions. Question, question, question. They always being questioned. These kind of people don't like to be questioned. This kind of person. If they're with someone or they have a family, they're family oriented. They like to be, but don't like to be told what to do. Okay? They don't like nobody to tell them what they do. All right? They they seem to talk about a lot of things that they got going on. Be careful about this person because whatever you tell them, it will come back to haunt you. They like to throw things in your face. Be careful. Um. They, it depends on who it is. If you have Aquarius, you ain't going to worry about getting shit. If you have a, a Libra or a Gemini, they'll take you places. They may give you stuff, okay? But they don't like to take care of anyone, all right? They like a woman that has it all because they don't like to give shit. 
They're very stubborn, self-centered, all about them. If you think, Pisces, that you can get along with a person like this or live with them, you're lying to yourself. Air and water do not mix. And I'm telling you, this person um, wants, they, they very can have things, can be pretty big in their lives. But Pisces, they look at women, they got everything like, you don't need me. They're not the kind of person that will marry you. If they marry somebody, they talk about them like a damn dog. Like a dog, okay? They like to the chitty chat. They run their mouth too much, okay? They talk, 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 talk. Um, like I say, they like to be right. They don't like for no one to correct them, all right? Um, judgment, justice, the truth. This person may be coming into the truth. Maybe this person, the five of, of cups, they look at you, but they're at a distance, but they don't know how to cross that bridge to you. You know why? Because they think of all the laws, right? The laws. They think about everything they lost, everything. Um, they feel sorry. They go through reminiscing about everything that happened. And maybe they hold that against you, right? Because that's the kind of people they are. They, 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 you know, maybe you go to court and you feel like the truth is going to come out. But it's a loss here. If you sit here and think about all, everything you lost, and you have nothing left to gain, you're wrong. You're wrong. All right? Pisces, we're stubborn too. We like to be heard. We have to say what we got to say. We speak our mind. But sometimes we can be very blunt. But somebody here is looking at a place where I want to be there, but it's so much happened, I cannot. I don't even see how I can go back. The Knight of Wands, they, 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 it's a person that, this can be moving fast too, but they move fast. The Knight of Wands is a sexual person, right? They want to take action, but they sit there looking at everything that went wrong rather than everything that could be right, all right? The truth, judgment, awareness is there. Somebody's aware of the truth. The truth is the truth. You can't walk around and hurt people and then come back like nothing happened. And don't even want to talk about what happened. Just want to sweep it under the carpet like it never happened. That's not how it works. Here it is, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, or Libra. A Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Judgment, Libra. Libra is in here like crazy, all right? This air sign is floating in your reading like never, and then you got the lovers. It's an air sign, they're moving around, right? This money, this person may be moving like coins, money, very secretive. That phone rings off the hook. The four ones, marriage. The four ones can mean happiness, a celebration. But it's kind of weird to say this. In this picture, one behind there is a red flag. Okay. It's like somebody can be, somebody feel like things ain't moving, right? This person can be with more than one person, right? But, and making a choice, but this phone rings off the hook. You can say, I can have happiness, but it does say that you need to be careful because there is a red flag in this Four wands. There's a red flag. A red flag says you need to be careful 
or what it is that you don't want to see it for what it is. All right? With a person like this, they're very airy. You never know how they feel or what they're thinking. You know, they, 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 I don't know. To be with this person, I don't know how you can be happy with a person like this. You, you, you know, with a person like this, I don't know how you can say this is what's going to make me happy. Because this person comes with a lot of shit. All right. And do you want to compete all the time with other people? Is that how you want your life? Always, you know, it's like you feel like it's always something there, but it's never there for you. It's like somebody living their life and telling you how they live in their life. But it ain't about you. It's about them. The six of wands. Whatever it is that this person is worrying about you. It's like, maybe they feel like they're being parade or being acknowledged. Maybe they they being acknowledged, maybe by family, okay, at work. People may be looking at you. Maybe this person knows that you're being acknowledged by many. You know, maybe they don't like you being parade. Or being um, like people seeing you and being happy for you. This person is like, like, like miserable. Very miserable over how you are and the things that you got. How you live. Like when they can't have you the way they want. And they want to argue with you and nothing is right between you and this person. They don't like it. Alright. They don't like that you got this power in you to be able to. Do what you want to do, right? With the judgment in the Five of Cups in the Knight of Wands, it's like here you being judged or you at a court case and it's feeling like you're losing out on everything or somebody feel like they're losing out like they're losing. Don't re Not realizing you have a lot more going on, all right? This person finally realized that they don't have everything they thought that they had. Or they're going to lose this battle. And they want to come in. To seven of wands. They're trying to get away with shit. Right? It's like they take from you. Pisces, you're that fish. It's like they don't want you to eat. They don't want you to have. They want to steal from you. Rob you. Right? They want to they wanna feel like, and Pisces, this is crazy because this is telling you, be careful of, you know, you going to court and you feel like you, you with, it's like you keep thinking to yourself, am I going to lose this case? How is this going to turn out? Um, but someone is taking action to come, whatever is going to happen, it's going to come in fast. But someone here, it's just like they, they don't want you to have no money. They don't want them to give you right. They don't want you to win. They want you to lose because they want to steal from you. It's almost going to court and not bringing all the evidence. They don't want the court to know all what they have because they don't want you to have anything. Okay? This person feels like they can win at all costs. They like to be seen. This person likes the, the people to look at them like they're a the good person and that you're not worthy. Right, of having anything that they got because they want to take from you, they don't want to give you, they want to take from you. All right, this person may be involved with one too many people, and you know, they want to tell you, feed you dreams that are not true because there's red flags all over this house. And so, if there's red flags, honey, I don't know what you're celebrating with a person that has nothing but red flags. Okay? And, and and things are not moving the way they should be moving. Alright? So, you gotta think about it. What is going on here? It's almost like a situation where there's no win. 
a situation where you're miserable or somebody's miserable because they see you. But they want to take from you. They don't want you to have shit. They don't, even if you go to court, they don't want you to get nothing. They don't want you to win. They want to win at all costs. Right? You with this person, the phone rings. They're constantly lying to you. The King of Cup, look at him, fat belly ass, like to drink liquor, smoke, sit at a pool. Maybe they're this person's on vacation, all right? A hot fucking mess, all right? The Seven of Coins is where, and the Eight of Swords, this ain't good because how do you grow with a person where you, 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 the Seven of Coins is like, yeah, I can plant, but it's like you you struggle in the plant. It's a struggle here. Right? It's like you 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 want this to grow. You want to see the green, but it's a struggle. You know, you plant the seeds. Alright? But then the eight of source means I'm alone here. I don't know what to do. I don't know if if whatever the plan is is going to be successful. I don't know if how long it's going to take for this to grow. But I feel like I'm I don't know how to make this move because the 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 one that he is saying it could be a happy thing, but it's red flags on top of that house, that roof. It's some type of celebration, but at the same time, it's red flags. All right, somebody can be caught up into two things here and can't get out of that shit. And that phone constantly ringing. The damn phone rings off the hook. But they seem like they're not moving. It's like a to-do list. But the to-do list is like, um, it's like a mission. I got a mission that I need to do, take up the, you know. But what that is comes with, um, this person got a lot. With this to-do list, they busy and all this to-do list, right? But it's not moving the way it should be because this person's got a lot of gains with them. Yeah, I want to be with you. I want to promise you the world. But it's a red flag because you don't know what to think. You, you're not sure of this situation, right? Look at this man smoking and drinking and having this up a good old time, all right? Oh, this can grow, but it's a struggle to make things grow. Right? And I know it because you're trying to figure it out. Right? You feel like you caught up in something here. But no one's saying, look all the locks you got on the door. But them locks ain't even there. It's like the other door is behind the door that you got there. And it's nothing. It's no walls and nothing to hold you there. It's just like, I don't know what to do. Because the reason why you don't know what to do, because you know this thing, this whole thing has a lot of red flags. And you, you're not sure because... When shit ain't right, shit ain't right. You can dream all you want. You can fantasize everything you want. But if it don't feel right, right, it ain't going to be right. Okay? It's got, it, it, if, if something is starting off wrong and you know it's wrong, it, it, I'm going to say this. I'm, I'm going to always tell you this. If something here does not feel wrong, some look, you keep all these information to yourself that you know or whatever you hiding or you don't want somebody to know you're being quiet you're being uh, you know silent about stuff you're not speaking on stuff you 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 know this person wants to win by all means but you're being quiet Pisces you're not really reaching out you're not talking you're not speaking too much on anything you know, I think you know the way this person is. You you know how they operate. You know what I mean? You know it. You they can't hide up from you. You know it. You Pisces, they can't win with you. It's like you can argue all you want. I ain't playing you no mind because I don't even trust you. I don't trust nothing you say to me because I don't know what to do with this, but you know better, Pisces. You got to know better than this. You can't let nobody have your brain screwed up telling you this and that when you know it's a lie. Okay? 
Chew your food. Eat with uh, intentions. Okay? Serve your food in your mouth and chew it well. This not only aids or digesting, but it helps to grind you in a in your presence. Focus on your text, texture of your food in your mouth. That means you better chew everything correct so that you can digest it. It's sweet. It's savory. Pretend you are a food. Okay? Enjoy the process of eating and breaking down the experience as much as possible. Chewing your food and while eating will allow you to be more present. Being in a moment, any um, moment can reduce stress. Okay? Just be doing this, just by doing this, you may be able to notice what kind of food your body needs and it craves. So it's trying to tell you that you need to take your time. Take your pleasant time. All right? Stop swallowing everything without tasting it. You know, my hands are itching. But you need to be in, in, in the moment. You need not to be all over the place. And if somebody don't make you feel right, and they want to argue with you, whatever it is. Or somebody's phone ringing and, and always some bullshit. That's red flags. I don't care how much somebody shows you stuff. Right? They want to make you all confused. Because that's what they want. You to be confused. You're being quiet. You know what's going on. Pisces, you're not losing out on nothing. You're gaining it. Everything will be in light to you. It will be illuminated. Watch how people speak to you. Take the time to digest the words that they say to you. Process it. So you can see how they're coming towards you. Okay? How they thinking. What they thinking. You are the highest priest. You're not crazy. You're very intelligent and smart. Pisces, if you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. I love you. Namaste. Go in peace.